such a time as this. And welcome back to For Such a Time as This, the place where there is no such thing as a silent witness. You cannot be silent and at the same time be a witness for the Lord in these days. Go to our website for such a time as this dot today for such a time as this dot today. There you will be able to get our new material as Big Brother continues the big squeeze on our content. OK. Want to get to. Topic. That we've been talking about a lot recently, and that is critical race theory. We believe here at For Such a Time as This, it is a different gospel. And what has been very difficult is to see those institutions, those people that we once thought were champions for the gospel, buy into it. Well, here on, I believe it's called The Woke Preacher on Twitter, um, they have someone on there that I did not think I would see, that is the president Dallas Theological Seminary. I'm still not sure. Mark Yarbrough is his name. Ah, uh, let, let me just play. Let me just play. Here, here it is. Despite the gains of the civil rights era, racism and prejudice continue, both against African Americans and anyone who differs from the majority. Unfortunately, racism and prejudice still exist within American culture and the body of Christ, and it is a horrific blemish on the history of the nation and the church. All right, so uh, uh, despite the gains of the civil rights era, racism and prejudice prejudiceness continues against African Americans and anyone who differs from the majority. That's white people. He means white, the majority, white. Should have just said white. Despite the gains of the civil rights era, racism continues against African Americans and other minorities from white people, from those who, who disagree with white people. And then he says the, racism is a blemish on our nation and the church. I mean, I, I get it. I, I I agree. Racism is wrong. The, the only problem with that is that if you're going to make such a charge, give an example. Give an example where the church continues to be racist, where the church continues to... To, to be racist against African Americans? Is, is there racism? Absolutely. Absolutely. If we truly want to deal with racism in the church, call it out, deal with it. Where is the racism? Where is it? Call it out, deal with it. These blanket statements, they're not helpful. They're harmful. He goes on. Such striving is wholly consistent with Jesus' command to love one another. Consequently, we denounce all forms of racism and ethnocentricity, whether explicit or implicit by commission or omission. Brothers and sisters, I encourage us to search our hearts and repent of any form of racism. If we as members of our board, faculty, staff, or student body, past or present, participated in sinful racist deeds or expressions towards other image bearers, I implore us to repent. And I, I get it. I get it. There was racism in the history of Dallas Theological Seminary. Got it. You're right. You're right. But what was it? Because when you say things like that, it's sort of like there's no progress. There's been no progress. I, I, I get it. Racism is real. Trust me, I know that. But here, here, here's something to consider. When somebody is speaking against the bride of Christ, 
you, you be, be careful when, when someone makes a blanket statement, a, an accusation of such vile sins. I, I think it would be helpful to name it. Otherwise, you, you're giving in to the notion that systemic racism is inherent, it is, it is rampant, it is dominant, it's dominant, it's dominating the church, and the church has done nothing to alleviate it. Buying right into the culture, letting the culture dictate what the church deals with and what the church believes and how, how it behaves. Again, I get it, but if you truly want to help someone sin, put it this way, if someone was sinning, I don't go up to them and say, Johnny, you just sin. You're just sinning. Johnny's going to say, okay, tell me, Pastor, how did I sin? Where do I say, Johnny, you're just systemic sin in your life. Good, Pastor, where, where, where? Johnny can't win unless you tell him specifically what it is so Johnny can fix it. And, and that's fine. I mean, I've seen it. Maybe I'm missing something, but I've seen... Um, a good portion of it, it seems like in context, he didn't name it. Specific, he wasn't specific. If he was, I'm wrong, show show me. But it seems like Dallas is kowtowing to the culture. I just, you know, and, and put it this way. Men, if someone talk bad about your wife and is claiming your wife of a grievous sin, you're going to say, explain to me what she did. Don't just go off on her. Man, when you talk about the bride of Christ, when you talk about that bride, you better be very careful. I mean, you better have some specific things you're going to talk about. And, and then if you talk about it, talk about the bride, you, you better be doing it in a way in which is going to help the bride. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking Christ ain't happy when you talk about his bride that way. And I don't think it's helpful. I think it's buying into the narrative again that the church is inherently racist and that the church is racist. I don't see it nowadays. Individuals racist, yes. But show me institutions that have the same racist laws that existed 50 years ago and let's deal with it. Otherwise, otherwise, this is a dangerous game the church is playing, buying into the critical race theory notion and calling someone's bride racist. Racist. Ah, I hope I'm wrong. And I hope Dallas hasn't gone down that road. Such a time as this 